Welcome back into Breakfast Ball. We head to Minnesota where Sam Darnold, I told you so, is awesome. Throwing five touchdown passes. He was amazing. 22 of 28, 347. And like I said, five touchdown passes. Jordan Addison, Justin Jefferson, they were awesome. So, Danny, are you ready to admit the Vikings are now contenders? Oh, yeah. No. What? 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 I, no. What? what no. Do you mean no. No. Five no, no, touchdowns. No. Yeah. But here's the difference, Stink. I watched the game. Okay. Uh -huh. Like, for apparently everyone is waiting for me to say that the Vikings are special because our teammate, friend, and colleague, Greg Jennings, fired off this text to me late last night. He was very excited about this. Just like you had to admit with the miners, or whatever he said, it's too small. Uh, wrong about the miners. I'm awaiting the one coming for the Vikings. Miners. What is it with you football it's players? It's you can't well, spell. No, we voiced the text. That 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 it comes out that way. The miners. Okay. Yeah, just read between the lines. I mean, that's. No, stop, Greg. You move on. <laughs> stop. Stop. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> What's wrong? What's well, wrong? Is there something you want to tell us about mine? <laughs> okay. I was wrong about the mine. You was talking about the Niners. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. San Francisco 49ers. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, got close just like I was wrong. Tony Busby's on the line. So oh, okay. <laughs> that, that's nice. That's nice. What are we doing? Uh, I just, I found that game to be very fluky. <laughs> And I know Vikings fans are going to be very upset with that. But I watched the game, and it was tied in the fourth quarter. And after three quarters, we can show it. The Falcons were absolutely, without a doubt, outplaying the Minnesota Vikings. They had more yards, more first downs, more offensive plays, more sacks. The game was tied. Then you and Vikings score a touchdown. Falcons fumble a kickoff. Cousins throw a terrible interception. And it's over. And you say, oh, it's, it's a little harsh for you to say it was lucky. They scored 42 points. Can we look at these touchdowns, please? The first touchdown that was thrown in the game. It's completely underthrown. I don't know if it was deflected or not. There wasn't really a clean shot on the broadcast. You telling me this is a good play? It's just a pop up the center field. And the guy catches it and he waltzes into the end zone. The second one, by the way, they take it off the board for a defensive holding on a field goal that they never proved to me on the broadcast happened. And then what is this dude doing? What is D. Alford doing on this play? I don't know. Not guarding him. Look at where he goes. He hits the wrong button in the video game. <laughs> well, like, I'm supposed to come out of that game and say that the Minnesota Vikings are some juggernaut? Yeah. Stop. No. No. Well, I mean, that's no. called game planning right there. No, it that's isn't. That's called uh, the it's whole week. How do you attack uh, Alford? I know how. Send the greatest wide receiver, arguably, in the sport today down the seam without having to do anything. He'll figure it out, it's won't enraging. he? It's enraging. Oh, no, he won't. But that's that's the type of play the guys like us watch and go, you see, honey, I could have scored a touchdown in the NFL. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just insane. So let's give Minnesota some love. No, sure, you sure. You may not have them in your top four. I guess that's fine. But you got to have them. I'm looking forward to this week's post position. They've got Wednesday. the second best record in the sport. And Sam Darnold threw one, two, three, four, five. Five touchdown passes. How about that counts? How about critical moments finding a way to win? Didn't we uh, say that that's what what the Kansas City Chiefs always seem to be able to do? Yes, that's what but, we have so said. You're, have, you're, you're yeah, sitting at 21-21 going to the fourth quarter, and you find a way to score several more touchdowns. <laughs> that's not a skill set. <laughs> no. not, when Minnesota does it, it's not a skill set. When Kansas City does it, it's a skill set. Right. Hey, listen, but, yeah, I think we've completely undervalued Minnesota. Yes. I think we've completely undervalued Minnesota. I think they've got – Three or four of the big time weapons in the national football. Addison Addison's is great. big time. Jefferson's big time. TJ Hawkinson coming off that ACL. He's a big time receiver at the time. And they're not position. a great running team. They're not. And Sam Darnold, who's having obviously a resurgence and a great year, and give him all the flowers because he's earning it, right? The Vikings now have a problem on their hands, too. You got JJ McCarthy, a first round draft pick, obviously coming off the injury, but are you not going to bring Sam Darnold back? On a Baker Mayfield type deal? I'll be yeah. betting on Baker Mayfield against this team in the wild card. <laughs> that's, that, 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 that's, that's what I'll be telling you right now. All right, uh, moving on. Hey, speaking of Subway, one guy's going to yeah. take it from the uh, Yankees oh, over cute. to the Mets, that's and that's cute. Juan Soto. Yeah. Juan Soto, 15 years, $765 million contract signed with the Mets. So, Craig, yeah. your reaction to Juan going cross well, town? Well, listen, when you have the wealthiest owner in the sport and he promised you that he would do everything in his power to bring you a championship, this is the first sign of that. 
that it didn't matter what the number was going to be because the number's crazy and good for him for getting it. And the fact that the Yankees allegedly got off to $760 million and the Dodgers got to like $700 million and the Red Sox were over seven hundred million is just crazy, obviously. But this is what Steve Cohen's wallet was supposed to do. I would caution you that when this deal's up, he'll be 41 or two years old, all right? And I would caution you that as great as Soto is, and he's a generational talent, he's an average at best defensive outfielder, and he batted 285 last year. He didn't bat 330. He wasn't 310. He's a great player with some deficiencies in his game. And remember this, he got to a World Series with Aaron Judge. He did not win the World Series. Why would you think that the Mets automatically now win a World Series? Uh, no, it's a lot more than that. No, right. Nothing's automatic, but he's a 26-year-old lefty slugger who walks. Like le left, lefty power, man. Yep. Le lefty power hitting free agency. I'll just say this. You want your owners or your teams to be rich hobbyists. Oh, yeah. Like, like I, I, I'm jealous of the Mets. I'm, je I'm jealous, and I think uh, there's a lot of fan bases out there because they don't have the TV deal that the Dodgers have. They don't have the TV deal the Yankees have. Right. They yeah. just have an owner who wants to win, so he now, spends. It's there, that it's, simple. I tell you one thing, though. It is hard to win just spending money. Just, because it just I'd like doesn't, to see him like, drive. Uh, yeah, I get that, but remember they've got Verlander and um, oh, and Scherzer. And Scherzer and, yeah. and it's still, it's just hard Look, to put a team together just by out spending everything. Spending money gives you a better chance to win because in theory you get better players. They got Clay Holmes, they got Frankie Montez this offseason. But I do have one concern with it, and maybe you guys can help me out. Yeah. They showed video of when Soto gets the phone call that the deal's done. Hanging out with a bunch of dudes in a jacuzzi when his phone rings and they pour beer over his head to celebrate the fact that he just got a check up front, $75 million signing bonus is part of this yeah. deal. But that's not afford, how I'd be celebrating. You could afford a bigger hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Hey there, thank you so much for watching Breakfast Ball. You know, you can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from our show. And hey, while you're at it, make sure to check out all the amazing content from all the other shows also right here on FS1.